Hello there, I'm Stephen Bonner and today what we're going to look at is uh, 3D tools in Illustrator. Um, it's, it's no replacement for something more involved like 3D Max or Cinema 4D but Illustrator does have some really nice little features in its 3D engine um, and if you've never used it before it's actually quite a nice little thing. You can start experimenting with it and play around with uh, adding new features into your work. Okay, so we'll start off with the first one, which is um, if you go to the effects menu, what you'll do is you'll see you if you come down, you've got a 3D menu here, extrude and bevel, revolve and rotate. Now we'll start off with rotate just because it's the, the sort of simplest feature that that it has. Okay, so we select a uh, little graphic. So you, you can draw whatever you like here, a square, a circle. It doesn't really matter. I've just drawn for the purposes of this little uh, a little road sign type thing. So we select that up to Effect, 3D, and Rotate. Now when you first go in here, you'll find this sort of alien little dialog box, which, which doesn't really feature anywhere else in Illustrator, so it, it may be quite new to you, but the first thing I always do is just click on Preview, because this way you can get a real-time kind of a view of what, what you're, you're actually doing when, when you're working through, so you can see the effects that your changes are making. So in all the 3D ones, you're going to have this little sort of cube here, which sits inside a circle. If you click on the circle itself, this just sort of rotates the actual shape. You click on the faces of the cubes, and you can move them individually as well. Okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, what rotate does is it takes a, a 2D shape, and it sort of places it in a 3D dimensional plane, so it sort of rotates it, as as it would say, it kind of rotates it on its its own axis. It sort of kids on there's a little 360 degree axis there, and you can just sort of move it around and put a little bit of perspective on it and play around a little bit. So we're just going to move this over here. Use the outside edge just to turn it a little bit, and maybe shift that a little bit as well. Okay, so that's quite nice. It's sort of moved it over. It's, it's, it's given it a little uh, a warp. But what we want to do to make it a little bit more realistic is if you're looking at this sign from, from dead on, is uh, we're just going to add in some perspective here. So not a huge amount, but just enough. And you can actually see it. You can always see it working. Okay, that's fine. So we click OK. And now we've got our shape. So it's, it's moved from this kind of dead on straight graphic to something a little bit more interesting here. So if you imagine you can draw a little pole here now, put this in a setting, you've got yourself a nice little uh, little road sign. 